Yo, 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 it's Series the Bear here, and I'm here with the new Hitman 3 game that has just recently come out. I have been doing some testing of the game just to make sure everything's running fine and everything appears to be okay now. So, this video is going to be of the first mission so far, which is on top of the world. So, let's get started. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. The Lexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Alrighty, 
so that was the intro video of the On Top of the World. These are our two targets, Karingum and Marcus. Uh, whatever the heck his second name is. Blah. <laughs> Planning. Starting is in the atrium lobby. Obviously, this is obviously currently what we've got. Ashen suit. I believe we can choose other ones now. Yeah, because I got the other ones. It's my signature suit. So I like it that way. Uh, Conceal weapons. Point training. That one. Smuggled items in. We can put stuff about the place if we want to. Uh, can we? Yeah, we've already got to me, so that's fine. Uh, back. Boop. Got a fiber wire, coins. So, let's get on going with it. Currently, we obviously got the... We're sitting at the professional, so this is our liberty. So, assassination is serious business. You plan, you execute, you escape, and your handler is right there giving you the guidance that you need to succeed. So we got unlimited saves, all mission story guides are variable, surveillance cameras are active, cameras alert guards if illegal activity is spotted, combat is challenged but fair. So we're gonna leave it on that. So we're still getting obviously uh, some some challenge, but also the story at the same time. So it's not just a uh, plain cake walkthrough or oh my God, I'm spending three hours on one mission. So, Let's get going. Welcome to the Barge Al Ghazali. Welcome! Welcome. Hello! Good to see you. How lovely to see so many friendly and familiar faces here today. And this has been a dream of mine for a great many years. And as all of you know, I am from one of the less privileged sides of the respectable Al Ghazali family. But with a small loan from my father, I soon built up a construction empire that was worthy of the great Al Ghazali legacy. So, I would like to thank my cousins, without whose friendship and influence this achievement might not have been possible. Thank you. I'm proud to yet again immortalize our great family. But most importantly, this building is for all the people of the world. This is today the tallest building in the world. That was so interesting. Okay, let's take that and take that. Not have his body kind of full on view. 
stick it in the corner. Kind of. And boop. Forty-seven. I would like to address the Providence partners directly. I want them to know why this is happening. And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map terminal. Gotta find a map terminal. Let's go up here. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazi. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now. Well. Okay, okay. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. Trainer cannot find game. Crystal Dawn won't be happy. Okay, okay. So we got to go back downstairs over to that. Infiltrate the staff area. Looks really, oh geez. It does really look nice. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six. Okay, so four, seven, zero, six. Go. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? Can't believe James called in sick today. Of all days, dogs. He's highly sensitive. Something you're just gonna walk on all day? I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. She'll never respect you. Sheikh Al Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. 
If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. Luckily, I have no problems with heights. Wow. That's a long way down. The server room should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. Just want to remind you about the uh, lockdown drill tomorrow. That's right, 900 hours. And if we can't track it, we can't. I thought about what you said. Yeah, I changed my mind. It was an insane idea to start with. Exploding golf ball. I don't want blood on my hands. I've never taken things to such an extreme before. Yeah, I promise I'll start attending anger management. I know I have issues. Admit it. That's the first step, right? I've got the golf ball out in the maintenance scrub. Not that many. No one will get hurt. I'll take it home when my shift is over. I love you too. I'll be home as soon as possible. Bye. Exploding golf balls. How nice. Well, that must have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? Good. We're in. Now all you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Ooh, deposit emergency funds. Ah. Oh, whoa. See that? Okay. Ah, only does it once. Well, oh, right. Open the elevator doors. Building cameras are now disabled. Sweet. Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Andy. Oh shit! I must go and get the um. Uh, from the Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this. Forty-seven. Oh, yeah. Cameras are showing a lot of guards up here. They wouldn't suspect one of their own, though. Okay, so penthouse guard it is. Alrighty, oh. And just drag him into here and stuff him in the locker. Uh, 
All right, now I look the part. Don't mind me. Do, 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 do. What's he mean by opening the elevator's doors? Ha <laughs> I has an apple. Oh wow. That the partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. I don't appreciate you talking over me while I'm trying to go, ooh, look at the view. I mean, seriously, wow. Just imagine being in that hot air balloon. It's so high up. Can I go on this thing? <gasps> I can. I'm walking through the water bit. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. I don't look suspicious. Wow. I mean, seriously, wow. Just imagine having to try and clean all this glass. <laughs> I'm not the poor sod that's going to have to do it. Well, let's get on in and do our thing. So we got to find the lounge. That shouldn't be too difficult. without good reason. I trust his people will have multiple scenarios ready for us very soon. Which reminds me, we need to discuss Alexa. <laughs> What's there to discuss? She left us. At the most critical moment, she abandoned ship. That family has never been trustworthy, and Alexa just proved to us that she and Need to get out. All right, that's that then. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. Forty-seven. Thank you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous on the edge of town. Kind of dump the bodies a bit, so it's a little less. Oh well, can't really clean that up, and the blood on the uh, enemies. Oh well, that's a shame. I'll take the whole knife home as a souvenir, and let's set the lockdown back up again. Doo -doo -doo. Don't mind me. Go about your business. Automatic. Wow, it's windy up here. <laughs> Man, really high. Oh well. We.
Wow, we got 27,000 XP from that. And it looks like there's quite a lot of things you can do. Uh, sniping, other stuff. Disguising things. Dang. Well, that was that one done. I quite enjoyed that. It was good to be playing this again. Or, oh, sorry, getting back into the Hitman game series again. It's a shame it's going to be the last one. Okay. So, if you liked what you see, hit the like and subscribe button for more videos that hopefully will be coming soon. And I will catch you later. Bye-bye.